Hello, welcome to Postcards 44, Grab Bag 9, in which we take a light-hearted look at a small group of postcards from my collection. I'm just noticing how scruffy I look. And the first card we're going to look at is this. Now, what do you make of this? Could be Victorian, couldn't it? Obviously, the couple looks fairly enamoured but and he's sort of trying to be dominant and there is fairly formal park it looks like let's see what this says it says hugh goldwyn riviere and this is the garden of eden from the painting is dated 1900 and it is in the barbican um, and this has been published by the Hillingdon Press. And it's got two coin pins marks either side. So it's obviously been on display for a while, which uh, I hardly approve of. So there you are. Here we have, in a way, a, a children's one, in a way not. Alice in Wonderland. There's nothing like a puffin, it says at the back. We would therefore conclude this is something to do with Puffin Books. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland from 1949. Uh, cover illustration by John Tenniel. Yes, I think that much I did know. And there's Alice. In diminutive, but holding her own. A pale rendering. This is one of a set which I acquired. I have to confess, I don't really know anything about this. Two personages, the lady lying back on the cushions. This is after Sappho will be Win Schwartz. Um, and it is Radcliffe Hall and Una Trowbridge. In other words, it's two women. And Radcliffe Hall wasn't a hall, it was the name of this lady here. It doesn't look like a lady, but they are two lesbians. Um, those are her last two names. I only know that because I desperately looked this up just before I came in there. So there we are. Here we have some trees. It's a woodcut, I think. Appropriate, it's a woodcut of trees. These are Tuscan trees, and it's a wood engraving by Kate Dicker. Well, Kate, if you're watching, I really like it. Look at that. It's easy to think that that's modest. Well, so it might be, but it's also extremely good, I think. There we are. This is another from the Sappho collection. And this is Isadora Duncan. Looking melodramatic. In a pose. Again from the Schwarz collection. www.gallybeggar.co.uk Extract after Sappho. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit at sea with these things, but there we are. And another one from that collection. This time it's Josephine Baker, who is a black lady. And there she is with an, with an urn, I would think, or a vase. Vase, vase or vase. And again, it's from the Schwarz collection after Sappho. Now, this is something entirely different. But it is very ornate, isn't it? And it's a little poem. My thoughts are always with you, dear. Yes, day by day. I'm hoping all is well with you on life's long way. 
or should some darkening cloud arise, may I be near to shelter and protect you still and comfort dear. But I would have true happiness. Do shade of care, no shade of care, but all that's bright and beautiful to your share. If all Earth's brightest gems were mine, I freely give, but I can hope and pray for you whilst I shall live. And underneath, seemingly at random, it says Terry. And this is a Beagle's postcard. It's a Beagle's postcard. Beagles, sorry, like the, like the dogs. It's printed in England. And it says, from your mother. From his mother with best love. So there, I'll show you the inscription. Just so perhaps you can make more of it than I can. It's obviously over 100 years old, I would think. There you go. Thoughts. And there's some pansies. And some flags. So it's patriotism at work. And here we have some, here we have presumably a woodcut by Eric Revilius, whose nephew helped me with the British Chess Magazine. It's from 1927, and it's a wood engraving to 12 Monaths by Nicholas Breton, Golden Cockerel Press, private collection. And it's part of the art and design of Eric Revilius, which was on, among other places, I'm sure, at the Winchester Library earlier in the year. I didn't go in because it was six pounds to go in and at one time, pre-COVID, it would have been free, but now I'm afraid it's not at six pounds. I wasn't going to spend that. No disrespect to it. Probably worth six pounds to the right person. But I wasn't the right person. Then you have a head from the Coutard Gallery. And it's Paul Gauguin. So the, the artist, the sculptor, was Paul Gauguin. And this is a bust of Meta Gauguin. Uh, done in 1877 and it's at the Coutard Institute which is near to the Somerset House which used to be where all the records were but they aren't there now I don't think I don't know where they are they're probably on computer aren't they but that doesn't really answer the question at all so there she is she looks a bit Teutonic well, I'm sure it's very fine work Definitely low key. There we are, I rather like. Here we have Impressionism. It looks like they've just dashed this off. Painting quickly in France, 1860 to 1890. And this is based on um, an exhibition which was held just a little over 20 years ago in the National Gallery. It was open seven days a week, it says. I don't suppose this says very much more. This is by Manet, and it's detail, in other words, just a section of a woman reading. And this has been donated by Mr. and Mrs. Coburn. And uh, if you want to see the original, it is was in the Art Institute of Chicago. And then it says at the end, not for sale. Possibly because it was given away with some books or maybe a catalogue, a catalogue, I suspect. There we are. Two more to go. Don't fall asleep quite yet. Here we have pointillism with some girls 
getting their leg kicking their legs up are these the tiller girls no they're not george sura study for i can't pronounce this i'm afraid it's at the coutard again institute of galleries university of london palace postcard it was printed in england i'm sorry i can't pronounce the french but i really can't i'll spell it it is le c h a h u t sure ah i can't pronounce up oh, from 1889 that bit i can articulate and there's the chorus of girls and here is a musician looks gobsmacked and finally tried and I tried to work out where this was taken. It's obviously an amateur photograph which has been annotated. This is a snapshot of one of the cause races at the regatta, the one of the canoe races at the regatta. They are Maori women as a racing in the canoes, it says. Well, how about that? And it's really a lovely card. For inland postage only, the space may be used for communications. Those were the days. There it is. The back's as good as the front. And I really like it. This is what collecting postcards is all about. Look at that. Splendid. Splendid. Hope you've enjoyed this. This has been Postcards 44 grab bag nine in other words just to just miscellany thank you very much goodbye